Okay, Itamex Kanatani, good morning. It is what? Wednesday, September 12th, 2018, in the lunar cycle Awakatsiki, some the deer moon, when the deer are in their rut. And I'm having a busy skunk morning. I've got two here and I've got one more to pick up in Coaldale. So we're going to release these two first. One of these is from a, a newly set trap. I was just thinking that the skunk season had, was kind of waning off. And now it's picked back up in the last few days. I've had several requests for skunk traps. Almost all of my traps are out around town at this point again. Um, and I've got three calls so far this morning. So one of these comes from a new trap. Another one comes from one of the traps that uh, I've been working for about a month now. I've, I think this is the seventh skunk that I've taken out of that residence. Um, it's actually a, a trailer park and the guy thinks he's pretty much cleaning up the park. So he's gonna ask park management to kind of chip in once the bill comes. Anyway, both of these are mature skunks, it looks like to me. Um, good sized animals. So we'll just let them go here. You see that one went over there? can back out. Back right out. You're free. There you go. <laughs> I was just kind of moseying along. Alright, we got to go to Coldale and get a third. Hey there, skunky. You ready to move on? Just hope this guy runs toward the river, not toward the road. Just off the side of the highway kind of <clears throat> northeast of uh, Coaldale. Okay, buddy. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Wow. It's about a quarter after four in the late afternoon now, and we've just got our first rattlesnake call of the day. This one's going to take us out to Riverstone, to Stonecrest Place, where a resident says she has a baby rattlesnake in her yard. Oh, this must be the place. <laughs> just a little baby. He just went a little deeper into the bush. Oh, yeah? He was just off the front of this rock. He's in here? Yeah. Okay. He just went no, he just went out of the Oh, I thought he saw him. So you are catching skunks today. Oh yeah, <laughs> I catch skunks every day. Oh, I see them here. What? Is there more than one? I don't know. You think there is? Oh, I don't know. Well, we only saw one. Is there a den pretty? in there? No. That must be it. All right, guys, you should stand back. So I'm gonna have a snake live on this stick pretty quick. Watch out, Cozy! Watch out! Oh, he's trying to go. Not happy. Move back. Hold your puppy dog. There's a rattlesnake here. Oh, wow. Rattlesnake, get out of here. Oh, wow. Geek, stand back. Geek, stand back. Geek, stand back. <laughs> Alright, we'll turn it around and get the window going. Oh, you do smell a bit skunky, no offense. Did you get sprayed? Oh yeah, I get, I get, well, no, I didn't get sprayed, it's just being in the cloud. 
Can no. you see him in there or did he go oh. under? Oh, he's in the back. He's in the far back. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's mad, mad, you guys. He's, oh, he's so, so mad. mad. <laughs> Jeez, oh, he's raging. Nice. Oh. Jola, they can jump, eh? I know. They can fly. <laughs> You mad? What's up? No. no. Is it last really year's. a baby? No, it's a one-year-old. Oh, don't put your hands over there. That's why I have the window. <laughs> yeah. How old do you think he is? Uh, one-year-old. Oh. oh, I thought he was younger than that. No. <laughs> well, second test of the tomahawk went pretty good, I'd say. Um, I was a little bit worried because it was the kind of situation where the snake might have escaped uh, down a hole or something like that in the in the rock bedding that was around that planter. Um, I was also looking at areas where it could have squeezed in around the foundation of the house. In that situation I probably should just stick to using my, my uh, tongs um, rather than the hook but I really wanted to, to play with this hook and it worked out so I was happy. Um, see if I can get a picture. This is just a little yearling. They were surprised to hear that it wasn't, you know, a newborn of this year with the size that it is. Uh, but sure enough, it's a it's a yearling snake. Maybe even a two-year-old. Probably a yearling. Yeah, this, this flat blade works pretty good, I think, for the uh, the smaller size snakes. Gonna have to continue to test it. I mean, he, this guy doesn't want to be on the, the hook, so... Little guys are pretty slippery. <laughs> Yeah, I figured out a trick for uh, interchanging these heads. Rather than letting the spring slip into this slot here where it locks tight and I have to use my key, you know, I can I can keep this the strong spring action just inside of the metal tube. And that itself without going into the groove and that itself holds this thing very, you know, tight. There is no situation I can imagine with a snake where this is going to get taken off even if I'm digging under something with the kind of the strength that it has um, so I think that's the way I'm going to go so I don't have to use the key and, and hassle with trying to interchange these heads um, they'll change out easy enough this way and they'll be secure enough that I'm not gonna you know have any problems with them in any kind of situations I don't think